What's up, everybody? I'm back to drop some more knowledge on you, back to you, to give you some advice, give you a stern lecture, to give you some, you know, knowledge. I'm dropping it on you. I'm dro As always, we do real rap over here. We keep it funky. We keep it funky with facts. If you can't fuck with facts, you can't fuck with me. If you ain't, if you kicking some pie in the sky fantasy, kick it over there. Cause you come over here, I'm, we're we're smashing atoms over here. That's what we're all on over. We're smashing atoms, and all you peons and peasants. Keep stealing my shit. Cause I know I'm your YouTube daddy. And one day daddy's gonna take care of all his kids. So keep that in mind. Well today I'm gonna talk about Obamacare. Everybody's getting upset about Obamacare, but let me tell you something. The GOP should not have a problem with it because the GOP's base is big business. Now a lot of you small business owners, I'm not talking about some guy who employs five fucking people. That's, you're not looked upon as a small business in the government's eye. In the government side, they're talking about small businesses as around maybe like maybe a hundred to two hundred. I'm not talking about what you, what we may call the regular consumer is the general is like the small maybe the, your your coffee shop, maybe the pizza joint down the street, maybe the hair salon. The government doesn't look like that as small business per se. Yeah, it, technically, it's a small business, but the government that's they don't look at it like that. They look at it as you're lumped in with companies with 200 or more, you know, maybe 500 companies. Like, biz businesses want Obamacare. And the reason they want Obamacare is... The reason they want Obamacare, you say? The reason they want Obamacare is, first of all, what they can do is it's going to lower their cost. And you, you guys should see this coming on. I mean, I don't know why everybody's getting mad, but the, but the you know, the, the main sticking point everybody says, well, it's going to hurt small businesses. It's going to, yes, it's going to hurt maybe the pizza shop, per se, but come on, man, at the end, the government's not looking at that. You guys need to get the government to look, realize that, but it's, it's the majority rules, and right now, the small business ain't the majority, apparently. Money talks, bullshit Rob Greyhound. I, like, what they're going to do is, Here's what they, and then what's this? You can look this up because they have been doing this. They're gonna raise your rates, and they're gonna raise your rates to the point of where you'll be like, "Fuck this!" And however you do your medical thing, I like every year you do your medical. Some people depend on if you have a contract or not. What you're gonna do is next time we come around, put me on the government. And what they're gonna do is they're gonna make you sign off saying you agree to go with the government to send the fifth. That way they don't pay the fine. Some companies are willing to pay the fine because I think it's like what 200 to 250 a head. So it's even worth it because some companies dish out maybe 20 grand per head for insurance. But that's what companies want to do. Now a lot of you guys are like, you know, well, Obamacare is not is not good for the whatever for the people. Yes, it is good for the people. You don't know why it's good for the people? Because the same service, let me put you this way. I couldn't get a remember when that bird flu bullshit was going around, like was it uh six years ago or so? I couldn't get a shot. And I had health insurance through my job. But you know who got a shot? People who were on welfare and other subsidies got in line first. So you mean to tell me if there was an epidemic in this country, in the United States, you're the likely survivors are people who don't do shit for a living. And I'm not grouping, I'm talking about the lazy ones. You know, I'm talking about the people who really need it. There's people who really need welfare, and that's who it's designed for. But the lazy bastards out there, you mean to tell me if there was a bad bird flu epidemic, you're going to rely on these lazy bastards to get us through it? That's what I was thinking. I was like, what the fuck are they thinking here? You know, or, or this one. If you want Medicaid, you can be fucking Joe Schmo fresh off the boat from fucking, you know, Thailand, and you get Medicaid. But if you're a working person, you know what you got to do to get Medicaid? You gotta wipe your fucking self out. You gotta clean your fucking bank accounts. You gotta do all this type of dumb shit to get Medicaid because if you make too much, you don't get Medicaid. See, that's what it's, to me, that's where the system is wrong and it's fucked up because you pay into it, but you can't use it. It's like, I mean, just I don't know. But as far as Obamacare, what they're gonna do is, they're gonna, like a lot of companies are making you, like, not put your spouse on. Like your kids, they, you might have a court order, but they, like, they're generous with the kids. But as far as your spouse, if you put your spouse on, some companies will give you that little marriage tax, as I call it, or the marriage penalty, or all together, like if your spouse, like if your spouse has medical care of another job, she has to either take that or you pay a hundred bucks or something like that, like a penalty just for having her on your, her or him on your medical. 
people know I'm not like bullshit. This is real facts. So what that then that entails is all of a sudden, and what they do, they escalate the rates. And it's gonna get to a point where you're gonna be like, like I said, fuck this, we're going to the government. So at the end of the day, Obamacare, even though you know the, the GOP's fucking around with it, they need to leave it alone. So I'm out. Peace. There. That's it. That's him.